you're listening to Friends, a ADI Actors and V Mobile Actors Club presentation. Julia, contact with you. Um, you are not picking up your um, phone. I know that you're probably busy working, but I want you to know that I have decided to go after Veronica, and I don't really care that she is married to Alfredo. I want her for myself. I've always loved her. I never stopped loving her. Your mother, Veronica, Julia, and I just wanted to. Be one big happy family. You are my daughter, Julia. I am going to approach them one day soon, and I am going to talk to my brother, Alfredo, and let him know exactly what my plan is. I know this might tear things apart, and I know this probably will not make you happy julia but i want you to all to myself i've always wanted you to myself julia my daughter and veronica too that's what i'm going to do i just want to give you a heads up to let you know that this is my plan i have not started to set the time for this, and I will let you know when. I remember I love you, my daughter. You can call me back anytime. Hey, Alexis, you're actually the only person I can talk to right now. I know that Vida is so busy. But you can tell her for me. Well, my dad, Julius, called. And he told me that he was going to find a way to get Mama back. Well, I asked him to leave Mama alone because she's married to Daddy Alfredo. And I told him that, her that. They were trying to work their marriage out. But Daddy said he didn't care what they were trying to do. He was going to approach them. He said he didn't care. Your mother was going to do it with Alfredo. He was going to approach them anyway. Go and talk about it. And talk to them. That's insane. He told me that he wanted. Veronica for himself, and he's going to find a way to get her. Oh no, this is too much trouble. What is going on with your father, Julius? He's out of his mind. Right now, you just can't walk up into someone's relationship and try to take the woman you want to just come and be with you without it being a big, big volcano? I'm not as not sure what he's gonna do, but I'm afraid. Listen, Julia, you definitely have a right to be afraid now. What's the next step to this issue with your father? I'm afraid that he's gonna approach Alfredo and start a big fight. It will be a fight, that's a guarantee. Oh my goodness, we have to figure out exactly what to do. Do we need to call the police to help us? I'm not sure if they're gonna come right now. They'll only come if something bad has already happened. Okay, Julia, where we are, our location, yes, the police will come right away. I'll have a car prepared 
and the official policemen, the FBI, and whoever else we need to call. So we can start this immediately. Don't worry. And he doesn't care if Alfredo is his brother or not. So I wish he would leave them alone so they can repair their marriage. And I'm really scared to tell Mama, and I really don't want to tell Alfredo. No, Julia, most definitely. Do not let your mom, Veronica, and do not tell Alfredo either. We just have to put a stop to this. We have to do prevention. Now, stop this before it happens. So now that I've heard what you said, then I have to move forward and make some phone calls. We have to stop this. I need to talk my father down from being so forward. If he got into a fight with Alfredo, he doesn't care what Mommy Veronica thinks either. Because he said she's a, the love of his life and always has been. And he wants all three of us to be a, together a big happy family. Well, that's just not going to happen. And Julia, I'm going to get in touch with her and let her know, as well as our police officers here at the mansion and the FBI. My goodness, this is just too much. Oh my goodness, it really doesn't matter to me. I just want my family, not all of this. I don't want all of this going on, and I'm afraid somebody's gonna get hurt. So maybe you can help me start a solution, Alexis. Julia, we already have a solution. In a matter of fact, while you were talking, I've just texted Vita and our police officers, and we're going to have do a conference call about this. We won't let this happen, and I understand you want to be happy, so we won't let this happen. We don't want anybody to get hurt, including your father, and we'll take care of it. Wow. <laughs> it's so great to be here together. We haven't sat down and had lunch together, anything, such a long, it's such a long time. Everything's been going on. We just haven't had the opportunity. I know things have been something else for me. I know nobody really understands where I'm coming from, but I am glad the way we have really made it to this point. And yes, it's time to start getting things back to normal as much as possible. Talk about business, having lunch and dates for business, do, you know, the usual. So I still say our business empires, everything has expanded. So it is because or beyond me on my very comparisons. And since you've been here, Rita, it has been the best thing that I have ever have ever done running into you <sighs> your the pepper su superstore was the best thing that could ever have happened to me because my empire outgrown me a hundred times more than i can ever imagine and i was praying for someone that could come and be a part of sharing a part of my business so that you can continue to expand, plus someone that could take over, like you and everything we continue to expand, we are blowing up million times over. We're doing better than well, and you're more than wealthy. <sighs> Most definitely. Oh, the sun sounds still so good coming, shining behind my back. See that Hummer out there, that's that Hummer you rode in with Donald. But anyway, it just feels so good here at the Cache Lounge here. Wow, it's just beautiful. Well, most definitely, Veronica, it's been something else. On the personal tip, the drama, confusion, secrets, just everything. Our empire still have tripled and everything that you have provided to me at the beginning that when you promised me, 
and you asked me to become your part owner of the V and V Empire Stakes, and it has been true. You've never went back on your word, Veronica. And also, it's awesome. And now you even give the greatest opportunity for me to work with this whole entire Empire State. I love the work. And I love the field. And I love watching things grow. And I love being creative. So <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm excited all the time. Our business is at the top of the universe. And since I have been here, I'm telling you, from all the money that keeps coming in, I mean, they've been coming in left and right. Things keep expanding, Veronica. And we have a lot to catch up on, though. We have a lot to be thankful for. And I'm doing my part at the estate that I just want to say thanks to you, Veronica. Well, I must say this, Rita. You deserve every bit of it. You deserve even more. I could never pay you or compensate you for all the work that you've done. Now that we're doing together in case Empire Forces, we are another room, another level in this whole universe. And we are recognized all over the world. We are a household name to all those businesses. We have everything anybody might want or need. So you deserve it, Vita. Tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what's going on. What's new? Well, hello, girls and um. I am so happy that um, you both are here at my Kache land. The Kache land is the place to be. <laughs> well, um, that reminds me of the time that um, we were together and able to spend more time with each other. And uh, we were just talking business but outside of everybody else's secrets and um so i am here and um i'm happy to see that um you all are starting over again and um good friends and um business partners um which we've always been well that well i guess we can say yes but well, business has never been better. Never, as a matter of fact, it's all at its peak and peaking even more so. We don't have to start over. I, I knew as far as our businesses, with Vita here and myself as a partner, owner of VMV Empire, we just can't go wrong. So yes, it's, it's great seeing you here, Queen. So tell us what's on your mind. Well, Vita and I were getting ready to discuss what's going on in the business, you know, uh, like we used to do. But now that you're here, we're all here together like we used to be. Oh, yes, we are. We're back. We're back together. Hi, Queen. Yes, we're here enjoying the cafe and we're getting ready to talk business and talk like we used to and discuss all the things and brainstorm and even do more. It's, it's so good to see you here, Queen. Yes, it just reminds us of all the time that we have and we have to catch up on all these things, talk about business, explaining what we're doing right here in this very place because this is your place, Queen. Okay. So let's just have some drinks and um, some good food and um, it is um, for us to enjoy our time and um, get back into the swing of things and uh, but as far as business is concerned, uh, we never quit. 
things are getting pretty great. That's my Kache Lan agenda. Going great with the business mogul. And um, it's going very well. And um, and a couple of people are very interested in joining us. And um, such as this guy that's pizza contracted me with and um, his name is Rotez and um, so I'll need the information on him, all about him so that um, we can reel him in and, um, as well and um, I heard that he contracted the V, he contracted the the controller business and all um, interesting. Um, how did he get in with um touch with you and um and all of this relationship with business? Did it start with Rotez? Oh, Mr. Rotez. Okay. Who is he and why is that I never I don't know anything about it. Who is this? I know if he's connected to you, Vita, he's going to be connected with all or the rest of the Empire of French benefits as such. Veronica, must I remind you that um, you've been very, very busy getting married and um, going through all this drama and um, keeping secrets and um, all of these things turned around where um, we never get a chance to um, sit down and um, talk and um, the reason I imagine um, have had um, opportunity to sit down and um, talk to you and um, tell you anything. I haven't had the opportunity to tell anybody and um, anything. And um, it's been such a conundrum that um, I'm just... So, oh, please, please don't get offended. I, I, I'm just speaking for myself and Vita and um, myself and um, don't get offended. And we, we haven't had the opportunity to come together like this for a long time. Queen, Queen, hold on now. Let's not start anything Although I can talk for myself. And I was getting ready to talk to Veronica before you came in so eloquently and interrupted our conversation. However, you are right. But I can't speak for myself, Queen. I mean, that's why we're all here. So, but yes, Veronica. On the other hand, Queen is, is right. It's been too much going on. <sighs> I haven't had an opportunity to sit down. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to anybody, go to lunch with anybody or anything as outside of me working very hard and long as I do. But I don't mind remember because I love what I do. I love it all. That's what we're going to talk about today. So please, please don't get offended, Veronica. Remember, your life has taken over everything. Your secrets took over. Everything, this drama just took over. Oh, so now I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we can come together and at this point now in time where we now can enjoy each other's company. I'm so happy and have some drinks and talk business. You know, the usual. Well, you're both right. You're right, Queen, and 
You're right, Vita. I'm sorry. I felt out of things, and I know I should not feel offended, but that's because it's definitely not of any of your fault at all. So I apologize. But anyway, I'm excited today that we can all sit here and talk like this, talk like this, talk about what happened in the past and keep it moving. If you don't mind, whatever is in the past, they can stay there. That's where I'd like to leave. Although there is so much that I have to work on right now, but I don't want to talk about that. I just want to have a good time. I want to have a drink, some good food from this cache lounge. Woo! Your cache lounge queen. And I just want to catch up on everything, the money, the people, the advancement, whatever. It's going to happen. And I miss, I want, I wanted to talk about it today. Uh, listen, girl, I'm, I'm going to run to the powder room and I'll be right back and I'll talk to you much. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Okay. Honey. We'll be right here, so don't worry, and you won't miss anything. And, um, wow, Vita, Veronica is snapping at you, just like you were um, keeping something from her. And um, what her um, life just came in like a storm and um, take over everything. Wow. I'm glad she's in a good mood. I think everything is going to be great today. Queen, please don't mention anything about Veronica's past anymore, okay? Let that alone right now. We're here to have a good time. Talk about eat some good food and have some good drinks. Please, please don't bring it up again, Queen, about all of the in the the drama, even though you are truly telling the truth. And on the other hand, while she's gone, you know, you're pretty nervy, lady. What are you thinking? Are you still planning on the Alfredo thing? Are you still planning on wanting to get Alfredo? Man, I hope not. This could be so awesome. Veronica's. You can't have Veronica's Alfredo. Do you know that, right? So Veronica has been with Alfredo. You can't have Alfredo. You don't know what's gonna happen. So that's that that is that's right. Please don't try to do that. So are you are you good in your head with that queen now? Are you good with that in your head, Queen? All that you're going to do about getting Alfredo from Veronica. Veronica's your best friend. And you know this too much. So let me know how did you get to this point? And did you ever drop the idea about getting Veronica's man Alfredo? We got to hurry up and shut this down because Veronica is coming back soon. Tell me what's up, Queen. Oh, now you're not playing fair, Victor. Are you going to bring that up? By the way, I do. I'm just truthfully going to say yes. I still have feelings for Alfredo and um, all. And um, if I could get Alfredo, I would, and I would um, really have the fantasy world of having Alfredo and um, having Veronica as my boss 
friends and um, I would do it, but um, I just know that's not going to work. So yes, um, I'm um, trying to hold back. And um, I promise, I promise that um, I'll keep it all together. And you must promise me, Vita, that um, you never say anything. And um, you're taking and talking around close quarters because Veronica is in the place. And um, she doesn't even know that um, I ever had feelings this way about her husband, afraid of. Oh no, wow, Queen, you are unbelievable. You Are you still trying to go there? Oh my goodness, Queen Lady, you have to stop it. It's too much. It's too much at stake here, you know. Well, at least you did say that you're going to hold back, but I need to know that you are not going to do this, that you've got to promise me that, Queen, that you will not move forward into trying to get Alfredo or Veronica's, you know, that's El Veronica's husband. You can't have him for yourself. And you don't know this fantasy that you have will never come true. You can't have that Alfredo as your man and has Veronica as your best friend. Do you know how weird that sounds, honey? Mm, that's not going to work. So you might as well come on and get real with the world of reality. Now, just promise me. Vita, Vita, you're making me promise you. You know that it is hard for me. I can't not help the way that my heart is feeling for Alfredo. And uh, I know it's strange. So um, do you want Alfredo and uh, Veronica to still be my friend and for me to take my boss friend's husband from her? And you know, it will be so secret. And um, I would never tell, and um, but I promise I'll, I'll drop it. Um, it is dropped, Vita, and um, I promise, I promise you, Vita, oh, that that is a promise, and that uh, I will not do that. Whew. Okay, awesome. I'm back. What was that? What what was it that I heard? What is it that you promised, Queen? You're making making promises to Vita. What's the promise? I told you girls, wait until I get back before you get into some conversation. So what is it? What's the big promise, Queen? What what is it? What's the promise, Vita? Um, Veronica. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, you know, it's really nothing. It's just that the queen, she's just having fun. She's joking like she always does. You know, things about life. That's all. It's nothing. It's nothing. So now that you're back, let's talk. Oh, yeah. I want to be in on the joke. I don't want to be left out. I want to laugh. The queen. So where were you promising? Promising me what? What's the what's the fantasy joke? Tell me, honey. You don't want to know, and um, it was a false, silly joke, and um, nothing that I can repeat. As a mother of foster. I can't even remember when I what I was even talking about, and um, you did not miss anything, um, honey. Now that um, that is a promise, so um, let's carry on about um, what is happening 
here and uh, where um, I think that we should enjoy some of this good food and um, wholesome drinks and um, gets down to business and um, I just talk and um, look, I, look, I have to go and check on something. I'll be right back. Um, I need to check on something, girls. Uh, don't eat or drink too much without me. Okay, Vita. Now that Queen has run off real quick. Do you know she's be, she'll be back in a minute? What was this joke that I missed? What what she what is she promising you? She kept saying, "I promise." What is she promising? I don't want to miss anything. Trust me, Veronica. You just don't want to. No, I'll tell you. What? Let me just tell you briefly about some of the new things that we're doing uh, at the building on our mansion. Well, we're building another office at the mansion, Veronica, and it's going to be attached to our grounds in the state. Uh, it's going to be at the south end of our entire state. The part that, I, that you have given me dimension you nobody knows but they know it's mine now you know um and that's uh because the other uh building that our friend Didi, my partner works at is just getting too small and Didi's running between the mansion and the other building so we're building a new mansion office on our campus here where we are at our estates and so that's one great thing about it. So we will still operate out of the other place, but I tell you, it's going to be a lot easier. And we have this area, which I can just tell you the other place uh, is nice though, but this is going to be really upscale. It's just going to fit what we have here at our States at the mansion. It's going to be a mansion office. Okay. And, uh, Something else I have to tell you. The mansion that I'm living in, if you've granted to me, I will tell you. Well, it's four wings and it's just too big. So I am moving Didi in to one of the wings and then I'm moving Alexis into the other wing. They're already picking out their furniture and everything. So that's what's going on, and I, I, I'll occupy the whole place, but I cannot live in all the wings at the same time. You know what? They're so excited, and when they picked out their furniture, everything is just going great. You know, the mansions always are so awesome in every area. It's awesome, Veronica. Okay, girls, I'm back. Now, what were you talking about? The mansion, the wings, and um, what's going on? What's happening? Um, who is doing what? And um, I leave for a minute and go away. And um, I miss a lot of information. And, um, do you care to repeat it? Well, Queen, you are so funny. No, we're not going to repeat it. It's just some of the business that retain. I, I've been doing some, well, she's been giving me an update on some things that's been happening. That's all. Okay, so we're going to have a continue this conversation later. And I'll get back with you and to this conversation a little later. Uh, but I will say congratulations to you. Well, congratulations to us all. Can we toast? Uh, let's have a toast together to coming back together to more meetings again. And of course, we thank God for this constant wealth. We, he keeps giving us, even mixed up our close personal dramas. Cheers, girls. Have a lot to do with it. How 
dare you leave me out, but um, okay, um, it's good, it's good. Well, cheers, 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 woo, and the food is good. Mm. Drinks are delicious. Awesome. And we'll get back to this conversations later. But for now, we just want to enjoy our time sitting here at the Cache Lounge, your lounge queen. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Is- <laughs> Schedule a meeting along with Alfredo so that we can uh, get some details of everything that you are doing if you want to uh you have to show us how you want us to increase your money intake so you would tell me a little bit about what your business is going to entail and what you are going to need to do to and what you want us to do to help grow your business even more my business is in the event and i create things I create things for business and residential. I now have a computerized Android robot. It would assist anyone in their home or their office. It will be able to take instructions on what to do or what you can input the instructions. It will continue that schedule every day. So this is very interesting, Mr. Rodtest. You are creating a device that you call an Android robot that will be able to take instructions for whoever owns it, the robot. In fact, we can use, you can use uh, it in detail the way you want it to be, and it will be able to do whatever you need it to do. Is that right? Well, for so for instance, you're in your office, Vita, and you have so much time to get things done. If there is a certain thing you need the robot to do, the robot can do it. It can set your alarm up when you leave and turn it off when you get back to the door. It also has a built-in relaxes. So yeah, you can actually talk to it and it can talk back to you. That you put into it. The Android robot will do it, everything you need. And if you decided you want to cook breakfast, it could do that. It can help you with your business too. Make phone calls to your clients and even bring in new clients. Look, Vita, this business possibilities. They announced me. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And Ooh, that's unbelievable. So, hmm, will we be able to give us a demonstration of the Android robot that you've invented? It's, then as soon as you can do that, then uh, the next step would be uh, for you to tell us exactly what you want us to do. And we will be able to curtail. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And... That's unbelievable what you're doing here. So it will be able to, can you demonstrate, give us a demonstration of the Android that you have invented as soon as you can. And so the next step is that we will be able to, to, to you will be able, I need you to tell us exactly what you want us to do as, so that we can curtail your marketing plan according to what you expect that your income should be even more, it will add uh, how much the worth of this whole project is and money that you can actually make. Well, that's great. I could do that. Also, I know I talked to your partner already, Didi, and I talked to Alfredo as well. And we have scheduled me and to all of us to sit down and talk. So we're going to talk about business on everything we need from you so we can continue to expand our wealth. So, Vita, are you going to be there too? 
I've heard about the meeting. And yes, I will be there. So before we have that meeting, um, I would like to see the invention. Um, Diddy will be available also, Alexis, if possible. And so um, can I see it? Uh, or can you transport it to our location at our mansion? And then you can take, we can all take a look at it. Um, would you be able to do that? Sure, I can get that done. Let's just set up a time. As a matter of fact, email your, your location so I can transfer my robot. And we will both arrive there at the same time. And then we can go from there. Amy. Whew, I must say, Mr. Artes, this really sounds like an awesome product. It is worth a lot. Of, sounds like it's worth at least billions and billions of dollars just from the sound of it. Oh, believe me, Vita, it's worth every bit, most definitely. And I expect big incomes to come for this whole project. And of course, you all will get paid once this starts because this will be an ongoing thing. And it's going to events, so it's worth millions, billions and billions. Well, this is, has been a great meeting today, but I have to get off of my next appointment. Oh, yes, this is me. Yes, it was great, and I'm very excited. And uh, this is exciting. And we will have Alexis to e email you our information, Rodriguez. So um, we'll keep in contact with you and get that date set and everything and uh, so that you can give us a demonstration. And we are going to move on from there. Listen, Mr. Artez, congratulations ahead of time. You already have contracted us, so all we have to do is just go for it. Bye-bye, Mr. Artez. Oh, hello, Alexis. Listen, I need some help with meeting that I'm going to have. Actually, we're all, well, all three of us are going to meet Vita and Alexis and me. We have two people that we are working with who are familiar with, with um, everything. One is Alfredo. He's the one that told Mr. Martez about us. So he'll, he'll be with Alfredo. We're having a meeting set up. Will you be able to get the paperwork? Then you will have to call Alfredo as well as Martez and set up the date and have everyone confirm that we can all be there. I know Vita had mentioned that I need to get everything set up and talk to you about it. It seems to me that you're more familiar with, well, even with Alfredo's business. Well, business as well as Martez. So most definitely, we're going to need you to be there as usual to help us conduct part of this meeting. So do you think that you can get it done and get the information back to us by tomorrow? Oh, most definitely. I've already started on everything because I knew that there was a meeting that was supposed to be scheduled. And I had to talk to Vita about it, so I decided to go ahead and start making plans to set things up. They're confirming the date. So you get your confirmation in your email. Alfredo said that he trusts you to schedule it, and he trusts me to schedule it. Rartes feels the same. They said that they can make time for whenever I schedule it. So basically, I need to see yours and Vita's um, available times. Basically, it's working around the both of you. Okay, anything else? Well, awesome, awesome, awesome. As usual, Alexis, as always, awesome. Well, now, off of the record, what do you think about us getting our own wings in Vita's mansion? I have never, ever heard of anything like this before. So I'm so excited. So I'm so excited. And I picked out my furniture and everything. Did you pick your furniture? 
I, I'm ready too. Well, actually, I have. I'm so excited. I'm so glad. Now that you mentioned it to me, I don't know whether I should just tell you about it or not, but we're all going to have our own wing and her mansion. You know, I already have my furniture, too. I never imagined all of this. Yes, I picked out most of my furniture. I'm absolutely so excited. And I'm about ready to move in any day. What about you? Are you about to ready to move in, too? Well, believe it. Believe it, not as quiet as is kept. I've already moved in. I'm just finalizing a couple of things. Do you know it is so cool with our business? I just can't wait. I just, I can't wait just to walk down there and go home here. Oh, but now that she has allotted us a whole wing to ourselves, well, wow, man, things just keep getting better and better and better. I'm absolutely so, so excited. So yes, 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 yes. I'm already moved in. When are you going to move in, Alexis? Interestingly enough, yes, quiet it is kept. I'm also ready myself. As a matter of fact, if I want to stay there tonight, which I think I will, I'm so excited I picked out a big, brand new, beautiful canopy bed. And oh my goodness, I have the 100 inch TV screen. 100 inch. I can look at. And it goes all the way across the room. And then I have my couch, which has a seating. It looks like a big square. And it's even got surround sound built into the couch. Oh my goodness, I never thought in all my life that I'll be living high on the hog like this. Yes, me either. It looks like everybody's going to have so, so much going on here. And we have our beautiful wig. Oh, you have a, a canopy bed. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm so excited too. I think that we should surprise Vita. Surprise her because she's worked so hard and she gives us so much. She is just sharing this big mansion with us. I know it belongs to her. Did she tell you that you didn't have to pay anything? Did she tell you that? Yes, yes, he did. He said, I don't have to pay anything. This is part of the benefits for working at the V&D controller um, business. Plus, now I've actually been working for the other empires as well because Vita has me doing so many different things. And, you know, this is awesome. So she told me that will be a part of the benefits. So, yes, what a blessing. Yes, I think that's a great idea. I think we should have a little surprise dinner for her. How are we going to get her to, to the car? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take care of Alfredo in writing this appointment and finalizing everything. Email it to you and Vita. Okay, so we'll keep in touch. I get this plan together all right. And I'll talk to you soon so you and our wing of the mansion is ready. Yes. Woo Most definitely. I'm headed that way. Now, see you later. You know what? The mansion is so big. And our wing, oh, it's so far apart. We can be there forever and ever and ever and never see each other. We have to, we have to eat, each meet in the meeting room where everybody can go. Just say, hi. But outside of that, oh, it's so nice. We all have so much privacy. Okay, Alexis, congratulations to you and me. See you. Friends, a ADI Actors and V Mobile Actors Club presentation.
make you tearing me apart. It's a safe I keep holding your cat to be you, Sandy. Friends, a ADI Actors and V Mobile Actors Club presentation. Join the V Mogul Club ADI Virtual Acting Group from anywhere in the world. All are welcome. Donate and subscribe to support and access our entertaining dramas. Email Londondors at gmail.com. That's L-O-N-D-E-N-D-O-R-I-S at gmail.com or call 248-7010885 or 1-800-875-0674. Donate anytime at L O N D E N W A. That's Cash App L O N D E N W A. Thank you for your support.